Uh, this lesson is a continuation of the previous video. Uh, in this lesson, we will cover two additions uh, on top of what we did in the previous lesson. One is how to automatically generate the ID. If you see, the, the there is an ID column. We want it to be automatically generated from the code. So, in this lesson, uh, we will uh, first cover that and then we will also cover the delete button. So, so to delete a particular row. Uh, so, th so, this one would be very easy. Uh, let's finish the uh, delete uh, no, row. So, we will we'll add a trash icon on select we will say remove uh, collection user collection users comma this item okay so let's test it let's test this Okay, so we can remove and add uh, item. Um, okay, let's clear this up. Okay, now how we will automatically populate this uh, when we uh, click the plus button. So, so for the first time we will set a variable. Variable next ID comma first we have to convert the text into value so we'll use the function value and in the code and that would be the uh, the ID so we will take the you will use the function last last of collection users dot id and we will add last row which we we'll take the value of it we'll add one to it make sense so last of collection user would be the last element here whatever you have added is the last elements id and we add one to it so whatever is the id in the beginning we have to set it to zero so whatever be the id we will add one on top of it so instead of this because id is a number so we have to convert it into a convert it into text so we will use function text of variable next id let's test it we have to we have to test it and see 1 2 3 4 let's see if it works 3 went away 2 went away ID was 5, so we had added 1. Clear everything. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the question remains is, should we, once all of this is clear, should we reset the ID to 0 or we should leave the ID to the last one? So this is a question which it's, it depends on what your requirement is. So here in this case, if you see, if we delete 3 and 4, 5 comes. This is fine. But when I delete everything, 1, 2, 3, it comes like this. So you have to build a logic. If it is saved in SharePoint, then you definitely don't want to reset it to zero so uh, depending
depending on your requirement you have to work on that so once again this will remove this item and the plus button will set the uh, value to it will add one to the last value and then it will uh, set it to the next id variable that's it in this video